It has been years since Airbus ceased production of the A380, but the world has never forgotten the presence of this colossal and luxurious aircraft in the skies. Now, the aviation industry is excited. Rumors suggest that Airbus may soon restart production of this legendary aircraft under the name A380neo. So, what can we expect from this new version? And more significantly, when will it officially make its return? Let's find out. This information comes from Airbus considering equipping the A380 with new, more fuel-efficient engines to enhance its economic viability and appeal to airlines. If implemented, this could be a significant move with far-reaching effects on the aviation industry. Additionally, Emirates President Sir Tim Clark has expressed his desire for the European manufacturer to bring back the Super Jumbo Jet while incorporating the latest technology to give the new variant, commonly referred to as the A380neo, a better chance of success than its predecessor. With over a hundred jumbo jets in its fleet, Emirates remains the leading operator of this double-decker aircraft, despite Airbus discontinuing production in 2021. I still have a design in front of Airbus as to how they could build a new one, which would be 25% cheaper to run, far more fuel efficient than this one, Clark said. And finally, a clear statement, if Airbus brings this aircraft back, they will definitely buy it. So what exactly is the A380neo and how could it reshape the aviation industry? First, to transform the A380neo into a next generation super aircraft that is lighter and more fuel efficient, Airbus will integrate advanced composite material technology from the A350 into its wings and fuselage. When the jumbo jet first debuted in the 2000s, composite materials were not widely used. However, with a deeper understanding now, the aircraft maker can leverage this advantage to enhance the A380neo's performance significantly. Clark affirmed, We now know much more about the A380 than when it was first built. Second, Airbus must focus on improving two of the most critical components, the tail and the wings. These aerodynamic enhancements will help the aircraft significantly reduce fuel consumption while maintaining superior performance. However, the most revolutionary change lies in the engine upgrade. A new generation of more powerful, fuel-efficient engines with lower emissions will allow this super jumbo jet to cut operating costs, making it a more attractive option for airlines. It's a much bigger fan requiring less fuel to drive it, with enormous thrust capability, so you've got to get something like that on the A380, Clark said. With these groundbreaking upgrades, he believes this huge aircraft could achieve at least a 20 to 25% fuel efficiency improvement, enough to bring the massive four-engine jet back to the skies with unprecedented potential. So, which engine is capable of meeting these stringent requirements? But wait a second, you're still here? That's awesome! We're on a mission to hit 50,000 subscribers and you can help us get there. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and be part of this incredible journey. Your support means the world to us. Thank you. The strongest contender is the General Electric GE9X, the most advanced turbofan engine currently available, specifically designed for the Boeing 777X. The GE9X is not just a symbol of modern aviation technology, but also features a series of groundbreaking innovations. With a bypass ratio of 10, 1, the highest in the wide-body aircraft segment, this engine delivers 10% better fuel efficiency than its predecessor, the GE90. It boasts a maximum thrust of 110,000 pound force, providing powerful takeoff performance, enabling the Boeing 777X to handle long-haul routes with higher payloads effortlessly. Moreover, the GE9X features an enormous 134-inch fan diameter the largest ever built for a commercial aircraft optimizing thrust efficiency while significantly reducing fuel consumption. Not only is the GE9X powerful, but it is also engineered to be one of the most environmentally friendly jet engines. Its advanced combustion chamber technology allows for better air fuel mixing before ignition, cutting carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide emissions by up to 50%, meeting the most stringent environmental standards today. To optimize performance, the engine features carbon fiber composite fan blades that are both lighter and more durable, along with a composite engine casing that significantly reduces noise levels. Notably, this engine is also compatible with sustainable aviation fuel, supporting the aviation industry's goal of achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. With these outstanding features, 
The GE9X is not only the powerhouse behind the Boeing 777X, but also a major leap forward in modern jet engine technology. Another promising candidate is the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan, a next-generation turbofan engine with a groundbreaking design that promises to revolutionize the aviation industry. The most distinctive feature of the Ultrafan is its geared architecture, a technology that optimizes the rotational speeds between the fan and the engine core, delivering significantly higher efficiency than traditional engines. Rolls-Royce claims that the engine can improve fuel efficiency by over 25% compared to older generation engines, an impressive figure that could help airlines significantly reduce operating costs while enhancing performance on long-haul flights. In terms of performance, this Rolls-Royce engine boasts a bypass ratio of up to 15, 1, substantially higher than GE9X, leading to improved fuel consumption and significantly lower noise levels. Additionally, this engine can generate thrust, ranging from 25,000 to over 100,000 pound force, making it versatile enough to power both narrow-body and wide-body aircraft in the future. Additionally, the Ultrafan is designed with carbon fiber composite fan blades, reducing weight while maintaining high durability and improving aerodynamics, ultimately enhancing fuel combustion efficiency. Moreover, this engine is fully compatible with sustainable aviation fuel and hydrogen, significantly reducing carbon dioxide emissions and paving the way for a greener aviation industry. If successfully commercialized, the Ultrafan would not only enable future aircraft to fly farther and more efficiently, but also lay the foundation for groundbreaking advancements in next-generation engine technology. If Airbus succeeds in upgrading the A380 with these advanced engines, the aircraft could get a second chance. And without a doubt, passengers would welcome the return of this super jumbo, ushering in a new era of air travel, especially for premium experiences, featuring private first-class suites with onboard showers and cocktail bars at the rear of the upper deck. Which engine do you think is the best fit for the revival of the super jumbo jet? Comment 1 if you believe it's the GE9X, or 2 if your choice is the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. But will Airbus succeed this time? Right now, the biggest question isn't about technology. It's whether airlines are willing to place orders. To answer this, we need to revisit the reasons behind its past failure. In the 1990s, this European aircraft maker began developing a direct competitor to the Boeing 747, as well as the tri-engine aircraft from Lockheed Martin and McDonnell Douglas. At the time, building a massive aircraft made economic sense. It ensured Airbus wasn't left behind in any market segment while offering airlines an alternative option. By the 2000s, the manufacturer had invested $25 billion into the program, leading to the birth of the A380, the world's largest commercial aircraft. In 2007, the jumbo jet received certification and commenced its first commercial flight with Singapore Airlines, marking the arrival of an engineering marvel. But over time, this game changer slowly turned into an unfulfilled dream. Despite featuring some of the most advanced technology of its time, this huge aircraft quickly revealed major shortcomings. The first and most critical issue was low seat occupancy. With a maximum capacity of over 800 passengers, the A380 required an 80% load factor just to break even. On paper, this seemed achievable, especially for major airlines operating on high demand routes. However, in reality, even the largest carriers struggled to consistently fill the aircraft to the required levels. The aviation industry thrives on efficiency, and nothing is riskier than an oversized aircraft flying with empty seats. A plane of this scale could generate enormous profits, but only if fully loaded. Otherwise, the operating costs far outweighed the revenue, making it an increasingly difficult asset to justify. Additionally, the sheer size of this super jumbo jet presented another major limitation. With an 80 meter wingspan and a double deck structure, it demanded specialized airport infrastructure, including reinforced taxiways, widened runways, and custom built jet bridges. While Airbus had envisioned a future where most major international hubs would accommodate the jumbo jet, reality proved different. Even in 2024, only about 140 airports worldwide are equipped to handle it, severely limiting its route flexibility. This meant airlines had fewer options for deployment, making network optimization a challenge. Instead of offering a seamless global travel experience, 
The aircraft's restricted operational range often led to logistical inefficiencies, further diminishing its appeal. Beyond infrastructure, the cost of ownership and operation posed an even greater hurdle. Each super jumbo jet carried an eye-watering price tag of $300 to $400 million, and that was just the acquisition cost. Maintenance expenses were equally staggering. The aircraft's four-engine configuration meant higher fuel consumption while routine servicing, parts replacements, and storage requirements made upkeep significantly more expensive compared to modern twin-engine jets. Airbus had designed the A380 to be the ultimate profit generator for airlines serving the busiest routes. However, its introduction coincided with the 2008 global financial crisis, when airlines were forced to cut costs aggressively. In such an environment, committing to an aircraft that required high upfront investments and long-term operational costs became increasingly difficult. Another major challenge was engine performance. The huge aircraft was powered by either the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or the Engine Alliance GP 7200, both of which were advanced for their time, but lagged behind newer models in fuel efficiency. As fuel prices soared over the years, the cost of operating the massive aircraft became a growing burden. Airlines quickly realized that flying two smaller fuel-efficient jets could be more cost-effective than filling a single jumbo jet. The high fuel consumption combined with rising environmental concerns further discouraged airlines from keeping the aircraft in service. However, perhaps the biggest threat to the A380's success came from an unexpected rival, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. While Airbus had bet on the future of air travel revolving around super jumbos flying between major hub airports, Boeing took a completely different approach. The 787 was smaller, lighter, more fuel efficient, and far more flexible. Instead of relying on hub-to-hub -hub travel, it enabled airlines to operate point-to-point -point routes connecting cities directly without stopovers. This model proved to be more cost-effective and convenient for both airlines and passengers. As more airlines opted for the Dreamliner and other next-generation twin-engine aircraft, the A380's business case weakened even further. More importantly, the aviation industry itself evolved. The Airbus huge aircraft was designed for the hub-to-hub -hub model, where passengers would fly into major airports before being transferred to smaller regional flights. However, airlines gradually shifted toward a point-to-point -point system, eliminating the need for large transit hubs. This trend, coupled with the rise of more versatile aircraft, made the aircraft increasingly obsolete. What once seemed like the future of long-haul travel had become a relic of outdated aviation philosophy. With all these challenges, Airbus was forced to end A380 production in 2021. Airlines like Air France, Thai Airways, and Malaysia Airlines have completely phased out their huge aircraft fleets. Emirates, the largest A380 operator, received the final aircraft marking the end of an era. So with this new version, can this aircraft overcome its obstacles and reclaim its golden age? Let's wait and see what moves the European aircraft manufacturer and Emirates will make. As always, thank you for watching and wishing you safe flights.